Okay, so we was in the gym and we was talking about none other than Devin the Dream Haney. We was talking about him and Teofimo Lopez and how, you know, we just think it's preposterous that anybody could uh, suggest that Teofimo Lopez would duck somebody like Devin Haney. I said, these guys are on two completely different levels. And I said, to be quite frank and honest with you, uh, Devin Haney hasn't proved himself on an elite level yet, you know? And I said, when you look at Devin Haney and you look at Ryan Garcia, to be honest with you, Ryan Garcia is fighting a tougher step-up fight than Devin Haney. And those are facts. Where everybody talking all this stuff about thinking somebody's ducking and this, I'm like, I'm like to be honest with you, okay, Ryan Garcia is fighting tougher competition at this point in time than Devin Haney. Why? Because Gamble was old, burnt out, and he's just not the fighter that he used to be. That is a fightman that you make a statement on. Now, Devin Haney went in there and went 12 rounds with this old burnout, you know? And that's just real. Now, I give him praise for dominating and winning the fight, but the way they was dressing it up, he was supposed to stop somebody like Gamboa. That would have been impressive to me, not to go 12 rounds with him. And as we know, Gamboa is just around collecting chess because he's on his way out. The difference between what Devin Haney did and what Ryan Garcia is fit to do is because Ryan Garcia is not going the traditional route, at least as far as the PBC terms, meaning winning your belt off an of old champion or fighting somebody that's burnt out. I love the Charlo card, but let's be real. Um, Devin Chico wasn't what he used to be when Jamal Charlo beat him. The point is, could he beat the prime Devin Chico? That's the question. That's why people give Teofimo Lopez praise for beating Vasily Lomachenko. He wasn't trying to beat nobody old and aged out. Vasily Lomachenko was in his prime. Now, with Ryan Garcia, he's fighting Luke Campbell, a young, hungry champion. He's not old. He's not burnt out. He's in his prime, and he's ready. Okay? That's something that you got to get praise to because, honestly, if I was managing over Ryan Garcia... I wouldn't make the fight. I would say, you're not ready yet. I'm, I'm maybe like two or three more fights and then we'll look. Unless he could convince me. Unless Ryan, could, Ryan Garcia could convince me. Look, I'm ready. I'm ready to take this, this risk. I can beat him. Once you start showing belief in yourself, I'm not going to do nothing but back you up. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll go forward. But as far as if it was me, I wouldn't do no Luke Campbell, uh, Ryan Garcia. I just don't think. I just want to make sure Ryan's ready before I make that jump. Now, that's me personally. You know? Now, the fact that he's stepping up with somebody like um, Luke Campbell, and keep in mind, this is a two-way street when it comes to this. Luke Campbell is also, at the time, Vasily Lomachenko, toughest fight. And what if Ryan Garcia disposes of Luke Campbell better than Vasily Lomachenko? Now, we already know Vasily Lomachenko is overhyped, but nonetheless, he's still a good fighter. He's not hyped. He's just overhyped. You know, then what is that going to say? And what kind of statement does that say about um, Ryan Garcia? It shows at this point in time, he's more ambitious and he's willing to risk and He believes in his skills a little bit more over there than Team Haney. That's just the truth. Now, some of you say, well, he tried to fight Luke Kim, but he couldn't get the fight. And this is that. Well, that seems to be a story a lot with Devin Haney. These fights that he's trying to get, and then he can't get them, and then he end up fighting these people and that people and this people and that people. I really don't know what to say about it, but, you know, you're supposed to be, um, you're supposed to be able to do these things, especially with the zone and, you know, your dad ruling over everything, you know. But that's just the way it is. But at this point in time, Ryan Garcia is fighting a, a, a stiffer, step-up competitor or a challenger then Devin Haney. There is no getting around that, okay? Luke Campbell is a tougher step-up fight than Gamboa. Let's just be real. So why everybody's talking at Jazz of Duncan and this is that? Devin Haney hasn't even stepped up properly yet. And when he did have a step-up fight against, let's be honest, basically a handicapped fighter, he went 12 rounds with him. Okay? So... How do you expect somebody who went 12 rounds on a burnout fighter can handle somebody in the elite realm as far as a Teofimo Lopez? They just talking that to y'all. Nobody, if anybody had common sense on Devin Haney's team, 
They wouldn't put him in there with no Teofimo Lopez. Lopez would eat that kid alive. Period. But I know what some of y'all say. What about the spar? What about the spar? What about it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, he did this. He did this. He did. Like I said before, it's the same thing with Javante T. Davis. You know what I'm saying? Um, Teofimo Lopez been in there with him too. Do you think Javante T. Davis can beat uh, Lopez now? Hell, fuck no. He know that. Floyd know that. They all know that. All right, so let's just be real. Keep this kid honest and at the levels he at. And as of right now, as far as a step-up showcase fight, as far as the eyes of the public and the way that you guys position him and the way he hyped himself, he failed. Good win, but compared to the hype you put behind yourself, you failed on an out-of-shape, burnt-out Gamboa. That's why Ryan Garcia, in my eyes, and anybody who has common sense about boxing, is fighting a tougher step-up fight than Devin the Dream Haney. Those are facts. There's no way getting around it. People can dress it up how they want. But I think first, he needs to step up properly. You can't jump from this to that. At least Lopez had Nakatani stepped up. Um, Kome was even more of a step up. And then the ultimate step up, Vasily Lomachenko. Devin Haney hasn't done that yet. Yeah, Bull was his first attempt at doing something like that. You just can't make a jump like that. But then again, like always, that's just my opinion.